earthquake, earthquake. Let's go underneath. Come on, Aiden. Hurry up, dude. Hurry up. Go underneath the door jam. Go underneath the door jam. I'm going to go underneath the door jam too. Stop. So here's my little buddy, Aiden. I'm serious. Get under the door jam. Look, get under a door jam. Stand under a door jam. And face me. Stand under a door jam. I'm going to stand under a door jam too. Okay, welcome back. This is Firefighter Cat Ferrata. And there, there was just an earthquake in California. My little guy was doing a good job. He went underneath a door jam. Now, this is about earthquakes and what to do if there's an earthquake in your house. Yes. It was like uh, maybe like a 3.0. Now, if there's an earthquake, what you want to do is you want to get underneath the table or go underneath the door jam. Okay? So door jams. Uh, there you go. There you go. Or underneath tables. Okay? It's extra. Now, any table... Well, not any table will do. You want to get underneath a secure, strong table, not a piece of cardboard, not something you're going to buy from like wish.com. Just kidding. Um, but like, just you want to go underneath something that honestly is is stable and that's going to be a uh, a secure a secure place. Correct, correct. So that's right. So. In most houses, the strongest places to go are underneath door jams, uh, alongside walls. But when something collapses, there's a whole bunch of there's a whole bunch of different types of collapses. Uh, there's pancake. There's there's you know uh, cantilever. Now at, in, in houses, if you're underneath a door jam, you'll probably stay safe. But you also want to know your exit ways. So you want to find the closest and best exit way after an earthquake. Go to an area outside the house that would be away from buildings, away from falling, you know, uh, falling things like trees, uh, fire, like uh, electrical poles, and uh, just make sure your family is safe as well. So you can have a phone with you, a cell phone, um, and and uh, this is an earthquake drill. And in the future, I want your family to prepare by finding a safe place within the house that each and every person could go to. It could be in the middle of the night. This could happen any time, especially in California. And then after an earthquake, make sure the family's safe. You could call them. Sometimes phone lines are down, which is kind of scary. Uh, Walkie-talkies radios could help too. Now, if... Uh, you know, after an earthquake, if you want to exit the house and feel the house is, is unsafe and, and not stable, you want to go to a place outside, back or front, away from electrical lines, away from, you know, areas that things could collapse on you. So thanks a lot. Thanks for joining me. This is Firefighter Cat Friday. It's a quick update. Uh, it's for fire, uh, but also earthquake preparedness drills. Okay, we go to schools, we talk to kids all the time. We need to educate the parents as well. So prepare yourself for earthquakes in the house apartments or hotels. Know your exits.